Hey friends, what's up? Ash here with Jensen's. Hope you guys are doing really well. Today, we're gonna be doing some first impressions of a new fragrance from Emporio Armani. It's Stronger With You, Ood. Yeah, another exclusive edition flanker. Gotta love them. And by love them, I mean hate them. And the reason that you hate them is because they never come out in the US and the only place you can pick them up is from discounters and then it's hard to get them. It's a whole thing. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the presentation and I'll let you know how this smells and whether or not you should try to keep your eyes open for it and try to pick it up. So let's jump into it. Now this one I got from fragrancebuy.ca. That's the only place in the US that I've found where you can pick this up. Technically fragrancebuy.ca is in Canada, but they shipped to the US, so it's no big deal. That's also where I got Stronger With You Leather, which was the last exclusive edition in the Stronger With You line, and I like this one a whole lot. Really, really good. I wish it was easier to find. This is basically like Emporio Armani's version of Dolce & Gabbana's The One Exclusive Fragrances, The One Royal Night, The One Luminous Night, The One Mysterious Night. Emporio Armani was like, hey, I like that, let's do it. Except for ours, we'll just name it Stronger With You and then a note. So as I said, Stronger With You Oud. Got it from fragrancebuy.ca, link in the description. Fragrancebuy.ca, of course, great discounter. They have awesome prices on niche stuff, uh, designer stuff, and they have a loyalty program as well. This is gonna run you right at about $100 US, so it's not cheap. This is a 50 ml size bottle, and it does fluctuate a little bit as far as the US price goes because it depends on the exchange rate with Canadian dollars. So first off, let's check out the presentation, see how that looks. Here you got the box. You have the name of the house, the name of the fragrance, the size and concentration right there on the front. Also exclusive edition up at the top. This is an Eau de Parfum. On top of the box, you have the Emporio Armani logo on the sides. Not too much, just that little design wrapping around. And on the back, you have your ingredient information. On the bottom, you will find your batch code. It is 38W100D on mine. And here we got the bottle. It is your standard Stronger With You bottle design. And the look of this is the same as the look of the box. So you have the name of the fragrance, the name of the house right there on the front, on the bottom sticker with your batch code, cap does click into place, and you have the Emporio Armani logo on top of the atomizer. And let me blast a couple sprays for you guys so you can see how it works. There it is. So when Stronger With You Leather came out, that was pretty much my favorite one in the line up to that point. Now that's since been surpassed by Stronger With You, absolutely. I love that fragrance, think it's really well done. Stronger With You, ooh, is this gonna be a step in the right direction? Does it fall back? Is it mediocre? What's the deal with it? Well, as you can see, it's already open, so I've been wearing it throughout the day. That way I could give you a little bit of a better breakdown instead of just spraying it on and then you kind of watch me silently sniff myself for a little bit before I talk about it. Just a slow zoom of me going. Well, note breakdown wise, uh, we're not blessed with very much here. They give us lavender, vanilla, oud. That's pretty much it. But is that really all that's going on here? No, no it isn't. When I first sprayed this fragrance on, I thought to myself, Holy crap, I love that, that smells awesome. It reminded me of Boss Bottled Oud a little bit in the sense of the way the Oud comes across in that fragrance, pretty similar to what you're gonna find here. So you're not really in for any kind of a fecal Oud, animalic Oud, uh, smoky Oud, deep, dark Oud. No, no, this is very much a designer's Oud style fragrance. Even though this is an exclusive edition made for the Middle East, the way that the Oud is used and Stronger With You Oud is that more typical designer style. So don't go into this expecting, oh, this is gonna be a designer fragrance where the Oud is front and center and, and it's got all this complexity and all this stuff going on and uh, nah, nah. This is pretty much that sweet, spicy, oriental style of Oud or Oud fragrances, I should say. But it smells really good, very easy to wear, super appealing. My wife 
loved it. So depending on which side you fall on in terms of, of oud designer fragrances, that's either going to be really appealing to you or maybe a bit of a disappointment. If you were hoping it was gonna be something uh, that pushed the boundaries and was more animalic and, and this, that, and the other thing that I just talked about, you're gonna be a bit disappointed. If you're going into it hoping that this is going to be a really super pleasant, sweet, spicy take on the Stronger With You line, you're gonna love this, period. It smells freaking great. Absolutely love the opening here. The opening definitely leans into the sweet side of things. You get that vanilla right away. It actually smells like there's a bit of a saffron thing going on here, even if it's not an official note in the fragrance. Like I said, it has that kind of sweet, spicy designer oud feel to it. As it fades, it never becomes overly woody. So you're not gonna get a huge amount of that oud wood feel to the fragrance. It's one of those deals where you can kind of pick out these notes coming together that maybe could make up an oud accord, but does it smell like actual oud? No. You definitely get that stronger with you DNA here, that sort of chestnut gourmandy flair that the fragrance line has that it's known for. You pick that up in this fragrance as well. Maybe it's not as prominent early on because you're getting more of those sweet spices, again, that kind of oriental flair, but as it dries down and those notes step back a little bit, you get more of that chestnut that comes out and it's going to immediately be apparent to you if you're familiar with the Stronger With You line that this is a Stronger With You fragrance. It slots right in there. It does remind me a little bit of Stronger With You leather. So some of the facets of this fragrance were carried over into this one. Between the two, I'd rather have Stronger With You oud. I like it more, love the opening. Stronger With You Leather is still very solid. I think Stronger With You Oud is a little bit nicer overall. And as the fragrance dries down, you get some amber that comes out, kind of an ambery, resinous warmth and sweetness mixes together with that chestnut vibe that the Stronger With You line is so well known for. And that vanilla is there pretty much the whole way through, but it never becomes a true vanilla fragrance. It's just adding additional sweetness, frankly. It's gonna be more of a fall and wintertime fragrance. Shouldn't really be much of a surprise. I mean, I've described it here, spicy, warm, sweet, gourmandy, you know, a little woody, but not too much so. So it, it should be pretty obvious, but yeah, it's fall and winter time. You don't really wanna wear this during spring or summer. As far as daytime, nighttime use, you can look at the bottle, gonna be better suited for an evening type of situation. But like I always, always say, I know I harp on it so much, I know it gets boring, but wear it when you want. If you want to wear it during the day, it'll work, you know, just be aware of where you're going, what you're doing, how the fragrance works. You'll be good. Performance wise, really good. Like you would expect from the Stronger With You line, it's an eau de parfum concentration. It's got a lot of, of deep notes in here, warm notes, sweet notes. The performance is very, very good off my skin. Now, admittedly, this is the first time I've worn the fragrance, but it appears to project really well, especially in the first couple of hours, and it's last pretty much all day. So there's absolutely nothing I can complain about. Is it as strong as Stronger With You Intensely? I, I couldn't tell you guys that because this is just the first time that I've worn it, but it's not something that's dramatically lower than that one or anything. So while it sucks that the fragrance is gonna run you about $100, it's maybe the best one in the line. I can't tell you with absolute certainty, do I like this more than absolutely? I don't know, I haven't lived with it for long enough. Is it right there with it? As of right now, I'd say yeah. The biggest pain in the butt about this fragrance isn't really anything to do with the fragrance because it smells great. It smells awesome, my wife loves it, I love it. Projection is good, the longevity is good, presentation is good. The problem is that it's an exclusive, like I talked about earlier, which means if you're outside of that exclusive area where this is released, it's gonna be a pain in the but to get this stuff. Fragrance Buy, they got it in the first time, I missed it, sold out. I, I didn't pick it up in time. Then it got in stock a second time and I was able to pick it up then. As of when I'm filming this video, it's out of stock again, but it says that it's supposed to restock soon. So <laughs> you can see it basically gets in stock, it's gone. Gets in stock, it's gone. And if this is anything like Stronger With You Leather, that's gonna be a recurring thing with this fragrance. Basically, it's one of those annoying deals where it's probably gonna be hard to sample it because anywhere in the US, you're not gonna be able to go to a store and pick it up. If you wanna buy a decant from somewhere, you better believe the person selling the decant is gonna charge a pretty penny for the decant, and then the bottle itself ain't gonna be cheap. So that makes it very frustrating. 
for a lot of people. So that's really the negative here. That's the only thing I can ding it on that and maybe the fact that it's another designer oud that's that's not really taking any chances here. That said, when the end product is a very, very appealing designer oud fragrance, it's kind of hard to stay mad. Love what they did with the DNA of Stronger With You. Love the fragrance. Really, really nice. So that's my recommendation to you. If you like the Stronger With You line, then you will most likely like this one a lot. But do understand at the end of the day, they took the same approach with Oud with this line as they took with leather. Leather can go a lot of different ways. There are some very challenging, very unique leathers out there with Stronger With You leather. They played it pretty safe, but the end product smells really nice. They did the same thing with Oud. Let me know in the comments what you think their next exclusive edition will be. If you have smelled this one, let me know what you think about it in the comments below, or alternatively, just let me know which Stronger With You you think is the best, which one works the best for you. Stay safe out there, guys. I will see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. Thank you for hanging with me. Okay.